in the series Throwback Thursdays. Uh, thanks for being here. I appreciate all of y'all for tuning in and giving this month's episode a watch. I really appreciate um, all my returning viewers and if you are new to my channel, thank you for stopping by and I hope you like uh, this episode and other content on my channel. All right, so welcome to Old King Cole's Food Shops. This was the first shop that I did in the new collaboration of Realm of Rhymes for, for the Dragon Slayer uh, Discord server. As you may recall, I had done the, had participated in the Ki uh, Kingdom of the Giants Dino Mega, Mega Park collaboration. And in that park, I, uh, I went a little overboard with the piece count and the maker toolkit piece count no less and I contributed to it being laggy and I felt really bad about that and I didn't want to do that with any future collaborations that I was a part of plus also not only that from that learning experience from that but also from uh, my learning experience with the dueling coaster contest that was also very laggy uh, uh, I had some beautiful palaces buildings made with theme maker toolkit item pieces that were really really small and caused a lot of lag on that and so yes the lesson of less is more is hitting home to me so so I'm trying to I, so I tend to kind of go drastic in one direction and then another direction until I find my balance so to say. So this was kind of going to the other extreme of just being as efficient as I can, getting the job done as efficiently as possible without a whole lot of piece count. And as you can tell, let's see here, let me, all right, let's see how much pieces this is. Oh wow, 300 pieces, yeah. I could have most definitely done a whole hell of a lot more with this with this blueprint. The reason why I didn't also, in regards to, besides the reasons I gave just before, was that I, I didn't know where it was gonna be placed. And it's kind of hard for me to, like if I don't know, it's hard for me to envision and I don't know, I just, I, I kind of like to have an idea, like if I know, okay, it's going to be placed over here, and we need this, then it kind of helps me, like, okay, da da da, but honestly, at this point, I, I didn't know, and I just kept it simple, and I just told Amori, who was in charge of this collaboration, like, add on to it, that's fine, you know, you know it's, and so, it's all good, and in the completed park of Realms of Rhyme, Mio Art did a fantastic job of uh, adding on to this simple blueprint with tables and more foliage and they did a really good job 
and I'll see if I can get some pictures taken to add onto the onto this so y'all can see what they did and how they made this even better. Hang on, let me write that down. With all that said, I still am really impressed with this cute food shop, mainly because I had the opportunity of watching Willabix, who was uh, who is a great creator in the Dragon Slayer uh, Discord community. She does a lot of amazing basic shape art characters. And having the opportunity of watching her make Old King Cole, I learned so much from her doing this. We actually spent like maybe an hour to, yeah, we spent about an hour one Saturday afternoon. Uh, we were allowed to use Willabix creations for this collaboration. Uh, just really quick, just to give you a quick little update or a little inside information for the Dragons there collaboration contests uh, they had changed some things why I say contests, the collaborations they had changed some things where you can't use outside of the creators involved you can't use anyone else's blueprints, you gotta make it yourself like any fonts, you gotta make it yourself or you could use somebody in the collab like, okay, so for instance it was like Amore, Mio Art who else was in there? Uh, Jimmy Mac, uh, just to name a few. So if Jimmy Mac made font, I could use Jimmy Mac's fonts for my creations, whatever I made in this collaboration. So, and that's okay. It, I like those, you know, these kinds of challenges or parameters were like, okay, because it really, doing this collaboration, as you will see, I, I grew. I started to really, I, I grew even more as a creator from like, okay, well, I can't rely on Rohana's, you know, cute uh, characters or Anna Mandra's or whoever else I was, you know, I got to do it myself. We had permission to use Willabix's stuff because I think she was part of the collaboration or she had given uh, permission to use her characters from her workshop and and that was approved so so you see her cute little work her characters the fiddlers and um, they were actually part of a, a light post that I disassembled I took off the light post and turned them into little figures but uh, really quick let's talk about this dope king so I watched Willabix and stream it in discord and I was just telling her okay I want him like old king you know uh, and just I was describing everything you know kind of chubby face and receding hair and, and she was just nailing it and watch it was it was impressive to see how I as I was describing him and then she's like how's this and you know like okay maybe I'll, you know but she hit it like spot on creating this giant head of a king and watching how she did this it's really inspired and helped me as a basic shape artist from this point on and i really am very grateful for willabix spending the time with me that time because it's really helped me and let me have this uh king for this shop uh that was part of the collaboration or for the collaboration in dragon slayer so thank you so realm of rhymes Old King Cole. So we could do anything with rhymes, children's stories, and so I immediately, the first idea I had was Old King Cole's, and you know, the medieval, I, you know, I thought of like a castle, because he's a king, so you gotta have turkey legs, and you gotta have ale, you know, I thought, I thought that was very kingly and medievally. <laughs> Here are the Fiddler's Three. And then here you have uh, the poem, or the story. Old King Cole was a merry old soul, and a merry old soul was he. He called for his pipe, and he called for his bowl, and he called for his fiddlers three. Every fiddler he had a fiddle, and a very fine fiddle had he. Oh, there's none so rare as can compare with King Cole and his fiddlers three. And so yeah, just, you know, I, I, I liked this. Uh, I like this idea. I had seen Amori uh, had posted prior to me doing this, or maybe when I was in the process of this, a really cute shop of her own or creation that went into this collaboration, and she posted the story of it. And I like I like that idea. So that's where the idea of putting the poem in the blueprint so you could read it. 
and it's a very simple blueprint, you know, but it, it gets the job done, you know, so you have shop here and a shop here, and then I figured, you know, in the park you could walk through here. I left it open for people to do whatever they wanted. If they wanted to shove, like, maybe a, a staff room in here, or bathroom, or whatever, you know, they could... They could do whatever they wanted to in the, in the collaboration. I just, yeah, I went a little on the other side of things, so keeping it really simple. Um, but I'm so proud of this little blueprint, and it's my first kind of castly thing that I've done. Who knows, maybe in the future I'll do more. Okay, let me turn it to night. So you can see the night lighting, which is, I, I like it. Yeah, looking back, I mean, it's funny how, like, you know, hindsight is everything. As I've grown and become a little bit more confident, I, I definitely could, with the amount of pieces I had, I could definitely do a lot more with this. So let's talk about these guys really quick. So, like I said, Willow Vicks had made uh, these filler characters. They were on a lamppost and I so I took the lamppost part of them off but there's like little their little bodies have lights in them that I just turned off um, but it's it's amazing. I like seeing how people like what do they use to do this you know and then it helps you when you're creating like I need something small to make this head or to do this and oh yeah they use this and you know I remember you know it so it helps. I used uh, this blueprint it has Theme Maker Toolkit items, and the items that are Theme Maker Toolkit items are these wonderful hands that are just, I are, are amazing to have in this game. Red Dragon and Tree Blue made these uh, Theme Maker Toolkit items, and I've used them ever since on characters uh, for their hands. It really helps, especially when you want them holding on to things and having them be a little bit more realistic. They are amazing and you can color them any color you want. But the fiddlers definitely, I, I was like, okay, I, I made the fiddles and I thought, well, it's going to look dorky with a little jelly bean. It's too big. And, I, and so I saw these on the workshop and... I got approval to use these in the blueprint and I'm really glad because they just complete these fiddlers. Yeah, there you have it. A simp blueprint. That kind of looks like a butt, not gonna lie. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> the back of the set. Okay. <laughs> but alright. So uh oh, his sign, I incorporated his pipe and his bowl. I had uh, two little archers up here looking at this one. I it's funny looking at things now. I'm like, oh man, I could have put like me at least an archer here and here too. Hey, it is what it is. A little hidden smiley face. Yeah, there it is. I hope you liked this episode of Throwback Thursday. And uh, if you did, please consider uh, liking and subscribing. And I appreciate if you want to leave any comments or questions, please do do so. I read all the comments. And so, yeah, I appreciate it. And until next month, y'all have a great day. Peace, love, and blessed be, y'all. Bye.